New video surfacing today showing Derek Chauvin using force on people in Minneapolis years before he murdered George Floyd. The city of Minneapolis has settled with the victims in two separate cases. CBS News Dick Brennan here now with the latest. Dick. Using force. What the fuck does that mean, using force? AKA doing his job. <laughs> right. Yeah, that means literally uh, not letting them go. Yeah, he did his job basically. So, yeah. Mm. 2017, say Chauvin used excessive force using his knee on their necks, just like he did to George Floyd. I'm going to show you some very disturbing video from the cases provided by the victims. Oh, Get up so now. he used a restraining Get technique that was trained. Is that George this Floyd? This guy sounds like Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> um, he had a he had a he had a type man. Joe Chauvin had a type. <laughs> yeah, he had a type. He touched me in my own house. This video provided by the victims in the case show Officer Derek Chauvin using excessive force on 14-year-old John Pope. It happened in 2017. That, so that guy's 14. He looks big... like he's about 35. No book. 14 or 40. I thought he was 60, man. This is crazy, <laughs> man. Some three years before Chauvin <laughs> murdered George Floyd. But even more disturbing, Chauvin is later seen with his knee on Pope's neck. The same thing he did to Floyd. Minneapolis settled with Pope for $7.5 million, saying Chauvin actively sought to prey on compliant black arrestees. Oh, he actively sought to prey How on is that compliant? <laughs> oh, my God, he wishes me wrong. Damn, I need that 7.5. How we get that? Oh, damn. Yeah. Jeez. I was praying on him, man. Okay, that lat is uh, our, our resident uh, wicked for the night. He said, but did he die, though? Right. Right. <laughs> right. Did he die, though? No. So everything's all right. Um, salute the boy Kachina, man. Boy Kachina says, Battle Elf, the wrist rocket slingshot, modded for launching spinning ninja throwing stars, and fentanyl loaded flashbang grenades. Let's roll. Yeah. Well, we got our friend John. Salute to you, boy, Katina. What's up, John? Yeah, how's it, guys? Yeah, man. Um, you ever been to London? We're still having rolling blackouts here in South Africa, getting worse 12 hours a day, every day at the moment. Oh, 12 hours a day, no power, no electricity? Yes, every single day at the moment, yes. So I don't know how, how people are running their businesses, yeah, but uh, it's dire straits. But I wanted to come in on the knife crime um, in London. We've also got serious knife crime in South Africa, but it's mainly among our colored population. Now, colored population... <laughs> Colors are you know, half-breeds, right? Colors are half-breeds, yes. Now, half-breeds in South Africa don't mix with with... Uh, pure black people they they totally separate they don't like each other at all um uh, and trevor noah, trevor noah was surprise surprise was yes trevor noah is colored in south africa but even though he he didn't really mix with colored people because uh his mother was black and his his father was german or whatever it was okay so he 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 didn't really grow up in 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 that community. Okay. So the colors yeah. are all... In other words, he was privileged. Co he, exactly. He grew up with his dad and uh, he, he had a sweet little laugh. He, he never suffered one day. Both parents are colored in the color community. Um, uh, generally, they, they are, yes, yes. About 90% about of them would be uh, colors make colors. Okay, okay. So go yeah, ahead. but now uh, it's, they're totally separate, and they're even applying. Uh, we've got the, the the Cape region in South Africa, which is uh, predominantly coloured people, and they um, want independence from black people. They they don't want black people ruling them at all. They actually they is the, the, they vying for independence with uh, some international court. I'm not sure w uh, which one it is, but there's a couple groups that are trying to get independence within South Africa 
and not have the black government rule them. They, they're actually joining forces with the, the Dutch, which is the Afrikaner. You know? I'm 75% Afrikaans, but I speak English because my father is English. Oh, okay. That's great, yeah. man. Um, so, so a lot of white people over there don't speak English? Um, yeah, most, most, uh, they, they can speak English, but not very well, uh, in, in a lot of places. But, um, before, before, um, 94, a lot of, uh, Afrikaans people could not speak, um, English and of the white people in South Africa, about 70%, if not more are Afrikaans speaking. I think it's actually more. I think it's like 85%. Um, wow. or Afrikaans speaking, yeah, and you'll only find English speaking South African white people near the, the big cities. If you mm -hmm. go into the rural areas, the farming districts, there they won't even speak English to you, they, they don't like the English because they were at war with the English. The English put the Dutch, the Afrikaners, yeah, in uh, concentration camps in the First World War, so they mm -hmm. still hold a grudge about that one. Oh, okay, salute to uh, J. Bo, man. J Bo says, check out the YouTube channel Gangster Time. I'll uh, check that out one one time, man. But um, so so you I got the coloreds in, in Cape Town, is what you're saying? Yeah, they 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 predominantly in Cape Town. They are all all across South Africa, but they got their own communities. They don't live with black people. They got their their own sort of uh, townships or um, ghettos, as you guys call them. That's Cape Town with the 187 percent, uh, 187 per 100,000 murder rate. That's the place, then. and uh, a lot of that is not is knife is knife crime. Now the coloreds are known for for liking knives. Mm. Very wow. very famous in South Africa for stabbings. Wow. So yeah. do they have conflict with blacks, or do they just? Stated themselves. Uh, con con constantly. They, they don't like them in the areas. They don't like them. Um, because what's basically happened is because the, the, the blacks are in government in South Africa, obviously it's who you know in government. So they, they're giving family members and that, and the coloreds really don't have uh, much say in the government, even though they they were oppressed. With the blacks, they were under apartheid as well. They were put into separate areas and that as well. So they see that they fought for liberation and got none of the 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 takes once the ANC government came in. So they they very um, they're very upset about not getting their piece of the pie. They don't uh, meet the purity test. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see who shot so man. Derek Chauvin, man. Prey on compliant black arrestees. This how black oh, people get treated. Hope for 7.5 million, saying Chauvin actively sought to prey on compliant black arrestees. This how oh, black people get treated. This how black people get treated. Also in 2017, Zoya Code was arrested by Chauvin and brutalized, despite giving no resistance. Ow! That's how you gonna slam me on the ground? He's not resisting. That's how you gonna... <laughs> He is resisting. What the fuck? He's not resisting despite diving to the ground instead of just going into the car, despite not letting them cuff him very easily, fighting the woman. cuffs. This is a woman, man. Now, that's how you gonna do me? Just like all the other black people, huh? Just like the rest, huh? He's We're gonna be dead. Out. And while code is tied up for no reason, once again, Chauvin has his knee on her neck. Her attorneys say for more than four minutes, the city settled with code. That was an effective thing, man, he did. Because once he put his knee on their neck, they don't move no more. He keeps them still. Salute, Derek Chauvin. That was a that was a very effective move you did right there, man. That still looks like it works. Yeah, it works like a motherfucker. Those people, I mean, yeah, that's like I, I, Maybe he just needs a billy club there, so uh, you know that he's not got his weight on her. He's just got the billy club there, pinning her down, so she can't move. If you're not, if you're not on fucking fentanyl, man, you never die off this shit. You notice that only guy that died off this shit was the guy on fentanyl. Crowder had them pin him down with more weight than than was on 
Derek Chauvin and Crowder yeah, had that. the collapsed chest and he did that for nine and a half minutes and yeah, he had that. no problems breathing. He had the collapsed chest where he had to get surgery done to expand his chest. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's called the recovery position. With code for nearly $1.4 million, the mayor says if Chauvin had been disciplined for these incidents, George Floyd would still be alive today. Derek Chauvin <laughs> is exactly <laughs> where he should be, which is in fact. If George Floyd was alive today, we, the so world would George be a Floyd was place. following policy. The, the and world would be uh, a if he had been disciplined though. for that, yeah, the world would be a better place if he had been disciplined for that. If he'd been said, oh, well, you can't, you can only do this for two minutes, you know, the world, then that would the world be better. Would be a better place if George Floyd was still alive, which is crazy. It's insane. Thinking of how unproductive and how, like, nobody would know his name if he hadn't yeah, died. But how much of a menace he was and how unproductive and how, like, um, dr dr drugged out he was. The world would literally be a better place if he was still here. That's yeah, crazy. he was. It was. It was like he was part of the community, or he was helping out the young black youth, or he do. He wasn't part of none of that shit. He was like the opposite of the whole situation. He was living with a white girl, and he was fucking doing drugs all day, and fucking be hanging around fucking corner stores and shit, bothering people, and impersonating a city worker and sticking a gun in the belly of someone while the rest of his crew robbed her yeah he was i don't know was, whether she was pregnant or had a toddler but uh there's conflicting reports but yeah. either way it's still evil he's a bad guy man but the world would literally be so much better if he was still here like the world would be we didn't know how good we had it man but maybe in some ways he is a saint. <laughs> the world would be so much better if he was serving a life sentence yeah, man, this is crazy. Then you got this fucking guy who was sobbing at the funeral like a goddamn baby. This fucking idiot. He'll be alive today. <laughs> Derek Chauvin is exactly where he should be, which is in federal prison. He should have been fired in 2017. He should have been held accountable in 2017. And more than five years later, John Pope says he doesn't want this to define his life. Cameras hold us accountable for things that we do today. Without cameras, then it will be a lot of things that goes he said, she said. An agreement was agreed to between the city, the police department, and the state's Department of Human Rights overhauling the Minneapolis department's use of force guidelines. They fucking with Derek Shaw. Derek Shaw, I salute, I salute you, Derek Shaw. You were a great officer. Uh, we miss you, man. Um, there should be more like you, man.